We're going to do with conductive glass. So there's a lot of applications where you want to have conductive glass, and it's most conductive glass is indium tin oxide, uh, which is has to be sputtered on with expensive equipment. But I stumbled across a, a website, Terra Labs, and they've made conductive glass with a tin oxide layer by using stannous chloride glass, you can get regular soda lime glass from a glass art store, some alcohol, some toothpaste as a light abrasive, and some stannous chloride that you can get from your chemical supply store. This is actually tin uh, chloride. What you want to do is you'll take the toothpaste and you'll lightly scrub it against the glass since it's abrasive and you'll rough up the surface slightly for the tin oxide to stick and then you'll run it under water, soapy water, and then you'll wash it off with alcohol. Then you'll need to stack two pieces of glass with glass spacers between it so you have a gap between um, the, the top and bottom piece of glass. Then you'll put a small pile of stannous chloride on one end of the glass. You'll put it into the kiln and you'll heat it up to 400 degrees C um, slowly heat it up to 400 degrees C, let it cool down, and as it approaches 400 degrees C, the stannous chloride will decompose and form a tin oxide layer. You can see the rainbow color on the glass here, which becomes conductive. Oxide is a wide band gap semiconductor, so that means it's probably not very conductive. Um, unless it's contaminated, which is glass is perfect for contaminating. It's got sodium and all kinds of stuff in it. So I can show, if I turn on the, the ohm meter, I can show that we have very conductive transparent glass.